Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to gain permanent root access and S off uh, on your Android phone. Alright, so before we begin, you must have done our how to uh, temporary root your phone method. So click on the link there and the before you begin to, to get to that if you haven't done that. Once you're done with that, you can come back here and we can continue. Uh, first thing you do is download the files for your phone. So click on that, it'll open a new window and download those files to your computer. Okay, once you download that to your computer, you're going to try to extract it. So right click, extract all, click extract, open the new folder, and you're going to find the .img and the .ko file. And we're going to copy those. We're going to plug in our phone, mount the SD card, so this way you can transfer files to it. And that's what we have here. So we're going to pull them over to there. And we're going to copy them to the root of the SD card. That means not inside any folders, just on the SD card itself. Just like that and then we can continue from there. Okay, now on our phone we're going to go to the market, search for terminal emulator, and we're going to download the first one. I actually already have it installed, but Android Terminal Emulator. Download that and wait for it to install. Okay, now we're going to open the terminal emulator we just downloaded, and we're going to type into the screen what's written on the site. Now it should give us that error, ins mod, init module, SD card, whatever, failed, function not implemented, that's fine, we kind of wanted that. Then we're going to type the next line. And you want to double check your work, because this could mess up your phone if you don't get this part right. So dd space if equals slash sd card slash hboot hyphen eng dot img space of equals slash dev slash block slash mmc plk zero p one eight enter and it give us whatever records in records out. Transferred in 0 0.540 seconds. Okay, and the last thing we're going to type is SYNC sync. Hit enter. Should just give us a new line. Now we're going to reboot the phone. Once the phone completely reboots, we're going to turn it off again. And this time we're going to turn it on by holding down volume down and power. At the very top here you should see Vision PVT ENG S off. If you would see that should be all set. Okay, so now that we have S off, we're going to turn off the phone by taking out the battery. And then we're going to turn it back on. So we can begin doing the permanent root part of it. Okay, so after the phone reboots, after doing the S off, we're going to go to Visionary. We're going to turn off Temp Root on Boot, and we're going to click Attempt Perm Root Now. It may ask you for super user permissions. Click Allow, and then the phone should reboot. Okay, once the phone completely reboots, we're going to just double check to make sure that we have permanent root access. So it just rebooted. We know that Temp Root on Boot is off. So the only way that this will work is if we have permanent root access. So, SU, enter. And you'll see it's been granted super user permissions and our little number symbols at the top. So now you have uh, permanent or persistent root access and you have S off. You can now go to the next procedure and load a custom ROM or flash a recovery image, etc. Enjoy.